now that you've mentioned uh, a lot of stuff, uh, you've mentioned uh, a lot of the changes you've made, a lot of the things you've seen, um, and you've mentioned also the things that uh, have helped you stay sane uh, during this time, the tools and techniques you've been using. Um, what are the things that have remained the same? And uh, what did you change in your life? I know you've touched a little bit, but you can just be specific. Yeah. Um, well, some things changed, um, not because I wanted them to. You know, my husband and I stopped hosting friends in our house. We just weren't sure how people would feel. Um, and I really missed that. So slowly, slowly, we've we started doing that. Um, but yeah, you know, that's part of soul food for me. Um, and I, I didn't realize how much I'd missed that connection of hosting, you know, cooking for people, laughing and all of this. Um, one of the other things I realized, Andrew, is I am one of those people, and there are many people in the world who are like this. I Travel is such a joy for me. It is such a joy. Meeting new people, learning about new people. And I really missed that. When the pandemic hit in March 2020, you know, the, that, that first three months, I was like, actually, yeah, this is, this is okay. You know, stay, stay home, stay home. That's it's cool. You know, we have been running around a bit too much. Let's stay home. By December 2020, Andrew, I realized, holy moly, I... I miss meeting new people. I miss seeing new things. Um, I just love this planet. This planet is so beautiful and I've learned so much um, traveling. And so I, I did miss that. Um, so, you know, hopefully that'll happen in, in the future, maybe starting next year. Let's see how we go. I know a lot of people have, have started traveling already, but um, for, for, for me, I haven't um, left Kenya in, in the last 19 months. Uh, hoping to travel in December to, to South Africa, which will be really nice. Just, you know, have a break, see something different. Um, I just got more clarity about a lot of stuff. Some relationships um, I wrapped up and, and that was a good thing because uh, they were kind of hanging by a thread anyway. So I wrapped those up. Um, not, not many, not many, because um, I, I, I'm happy that I'm surrounded by, by awesome people. Um, but there was just a lot of clarity, a, a lot of um, clarity around, you know, I, I don't have the bandwidth. And, and many people, um, Andrew, realize they, they just don't have the bandwidth. Uh, they're in survival mode. They're in figuring stuff out mode. And so they, they, they just got a clarity around what drains them versus what nourishes them. Um, of course, the masks, the sanitizers, we did all that. Um, I, I got a lot of clarity around, I mean, a lot, I, I mean, I was clear before the pandemic, but I would say I got more clear about the sorts of personalities I want to be around. Mm -hmm. I became more courageous, Andrew, with boundaries, uh, just saying, hey, I'm not engaging with this, I'm not dealing with that, um, became a lot more courageous. And thank goodness our bandwidth just became short because we were putting up with a lot of stuff on an individual and collective level, putting up with a lot of stuff we were not okay with. But because we were distracted by ah, life, party, go out, this, that, um, the, the quiet made people see a lot of things very clearly. Um, so, yeah, the... It was nice uh, being at home with my daughter and her nanny in a previous job um, ha had been a teacher. So that really helped. Um, again, so grateful for platforms like Khan Academy Kids. I mean, I found myself playing around with that um, <laughs> app because it's just so cool and the kids learn so much. And I, again, I shared that on my social media and I said, hey, this is really working for us. Um, if you have kids above a certain age, jump onto this platform. Um, until today, we, we still, you know, um, play on Khan Academy Kids. You know, there's creativity, logic, uh, stories, uh, reading. It's it's um, super cool. Um, but it was nice hanging um, with our daughter and and 
her being home. And it's also nice her being back at school um, because she really thrives in school. Um, I have to admit that homeschooling was not an option. I mean, it it, it was an option, but my husband and I didn't want to do it. We didn't want to do it because number one, we're not trained teachers. (laughs) and, And I have a very high respect for teachers. As you know, my, I identify as a teacher and my dad was a professor and my grandpa, my mom's side was a teacher. So for me, I, I didn't lie to myself that, oh, I can do this. It's easy. I can do this. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> it's a skill. <laughs> teachers are trained people. So it's good that she's back in school and, and, you know, things like chess, Andrew, she's four years old and chess is compulsory at her school. Wow. I couldn't have taught her that. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't have taught her that. So I'm really happy that she's back at school. So there's that. And again, Andrew, I'm glad we got a chance to hang out at home. And I'm glad she's back. It's not, but I'm glad she's back. It's, and I'm glad she's back. My gratitude practice got deeper. Mm -hmm. And grateful for the simple things, Opere. You know, here in Nairobi, well, the, 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 it, it got really granular. It got really simple. Like, wow, I'm grateful the weather in this country is not so extreme that I'm stuck at home in the thick of winter and depressed. You know, I'm here in Kenya, we never went into a full lockdown. <laughs> Kenyans use the word lockdown. We were never in a lockdown. We had curfew. There's a difference. And I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for that because it meant people could still charge ahead in some way with their work. You know, it wasn't a complete shutdown because we we just can't afford it the way this country has been built for better or worse. So grateful for that. Grateful I'm married to a sane person. <laughs> Because I tell you what, Andrew, the last 19 months, hey, people really got to see, do I actually like this person (laughs) I live with? (laughs) Because now we're hanging together all the time. But but my husband and I have, um, we're friends. We've we've been friends for a minute. And um, it was cool. You know, it was cool. It was cool just chilling at home, watching movies, da, 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 da. It was cool. Um, so the gratitude got really granular because we, we can say things like, ah, I, I'm so grateful I have a lot of money to travel the world. <laughs> but in the last 19 months, it was, yo, I'm grateful that in Kenya, in Nairobi, we have developed a system of delivery where the guy on the bike can just come and deliver my stuff. Yeah, that really helped us in the last 19 months. My usual rider guy was busy and I was so happy for him. I was so happy for him. A friend of mine said, isn't it ironic? Our rider guys are busier and pilots are at home. Isn't that ironic? True. Um, <laughs> grateful for, for the very simple things. I, you know, grateful for my mind, my creativity. And like I said, Andrew, grateful for these online platforms that we have been some of us have been trashing since day one and now you realize oh wow uh actually (laughs) thank god for paypal (laughs) you know um so yeah the the gratitude got really granular and my husband said something to me stefan said something to me last year where he goes isn't it a good thing that there are solutions to how to curb the spread of the pandemic. Isn't it a good thing that we've realized we can wear masks and we can sanitize? Imagine if there was no solution. Imagine, Andrew, if we were told, listen, stay home. We don't know what we're going to do, but you just stay home. We're figuring it out. But that's not what happened. We were told stay home. And if you leave, wear a mask, sanitize your hand. Thank heavens for those small but significant solutions imagine if we were told we don't like in the movies we don't know what this is just stay home we will update you at a later time Mm. it could have been like that but it wasn't like that true right 
Yeah. So true. Simple, simple things. Simple, simple things. Grateful for Netflix. <laughs> yes, yes. Wow. Grateful for Netflix, Andrew. You know, we have never seen for, this for coming. Netflix. You know, I bet even Netflix never yeah. saw it coming. They never saw it coming. Like, wow, thank God it's high quality storytelling that I can watch from my laptop, from my home, from my phone. So it's that and, Andrew, you know, mm. you know, say what you want about big corporations. And yeah, some of them have, you know, done some pretty not so great things. Um, but but some are just trying to earn a living like everybody else. And hey, let's produce some great movies for you and you can watch and be entertained and and all of that so grateful grateful for strong wi-fi andrew what, <laughs> what would i have done if i lived in a country that didn't or a city that didn't have wi-fi that would have been a wrap i'm not gonna call a client in thailand using the regular line you know i'm gonna call a client in london like how i'm not gonna run a workshop using my phone true yeah, just grateful. Grateful for things we had taken for granted. Wow. 